What's up, guys? KP for Style and Online, still at the Anaheim Comic Con. And part of the Comic Con experience is a lot of the displays, right? And one of the things that we see a lot of are the vehicles that are in the movies and the comics that we all love so much. And one of the cars is this beautiful Ford. And the man uh, today who built this Ford is with us, Steve Carpenter. How are you, Steve? Oh, I'm excellent, excellent. How are you guys doing, anyway? Uh, we're doing great. You know, you always love a Comic Con and always love taking a look at the cars uh, that are a big part of this display. And uh, we couldn't help but miss the uh, the red mist uh, Ford that you put together. So uh, why don't you uh, pop on out of that thing and uh, and show us a little bit exactly about uh, uh, the red mist car and and what you did to get her to look like this. Well, this is a uh, 08 Mustang GT that we. Uh modified for Matthew Vaughn, of course, the movie Kick-Ass that came out yesterday. This is Red Mist, now McLovin. I call him McLovin. It's Christopher Mist actually drives this car. It's his car in the movie. So uh, it's funny, when they approached us, they actually wanted to do a, a 65 Mustang. And we kind of said, well, you know, you really? And he saw one that we actually had, like this kind of version. He goes, oh, I want a newer one. And he goes, I want a car that kind of is a, a mix between Batman and Spider-Man, but has its own character. And we said, all right, well, we... We had about 24 hours to come up with a sketch that he liked. So we sat down with, uh, um, called my friend Rich Evans, who uh, does a body kit, and I got together with an artist, and we put this together, and he came back and said, build it. So here we go, and there's only two cars. There's only two, and they're real cars. These are not like fake, like movie cars. This car is 600 horsepower. It's supercharged. It's got the suspension and the brakes. It does everything it's supposed to do in the movie. One car's in London, and one car's here. So this car actually does its own stunts. Yes, it does. No, it's a real deal. I mean, it, it makes a lot of noise. It, it goes fast, as you can see inside. The GPS navigation, the docking station for the iPhone, and the red mist works, which is kind of cool. Oh, well, we got to see the effects. Well, sure, everybody loves the Lamborghini doors, too, right? Is that, is that a big deal to add to a car? Yeah, it's kind of a big deal to add to a car to make it work because it's got to be a smooth motion. Most, you know, Lamborghini doors have got to be something, see, one finger. Right. It can't be really heavy, and it's got to stay open. And of course, it's got to close real easy. You know, and that's the whole thing about the, uh, the, the, the Lamborghini doors is a lot of companies try to do it, but they're kind of choppy. But you know, we got to—you know—this is a this is a two hundred thousand dollar car, so that's what I, what's about the cost to do this car about two hundred grand. Well, it looks like two hundred grand, and uh, and like you said, it, it does a lot of its uh, its own things that you see in the movie. So, what types of things does it do? Well, as you can see, it's got a front and rear backup camera, and it's got separate screens over there on the side that actually you can actually switch from. Uh, you can be watching a DVD and watching the front and the back at the same time. The neat part about it is, is the the red mist is kind of a they wanted to be able to like let it know like you know it's got to do something. So we out of the hood, we actually crisscross nitrous oxide. So nitrous goes in the motor, but we also decided to shoot the nitrous in the air, and they actually put red LEDs in the nitrous, so it's called red mist. Now let me show you how it works. That's great. If you get right on the front there on the hood, it's going to shoot out the front there when I flip these really cool switches right here. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Now, now I, I, I would assume that that doesn't come cheap. No, no, that right there probably cost about a hundred bucks just to hit that button for that second. So, yeah. well, it, it, it looked every worth a hundred bucks. So oh, yeah, it's neat. It's a neat thing, and the car is really loud and it's really fast, and it, it's got it handles. You know, when the movie is instead of like having to do a lot of things in CG, when you watch the movie, you realize the so the sounds it makes. You go, oh, that sounds like a real car, and it's sliding around, and the, when he's driving it, you realize, wow, that's like a real car because it is. We made it so they didn't have to do anything. The stunt drivers, when we showed up with a five-speed and a supercharged car with brakes, they went, oh my God, I, I actually can make this thing do things. So this is an, uh, uh, an add-on that you're going to be able to get it. Any Ford dealer. Yes. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, why not? You know, actually, it is a Ford Mustang. Right. It's a great car. And actually, oh, it looks beautiful. And actually, you know what? With a little bit of uh, little bit of uh, ingenuity and a little bit of money, you can, re can recreate this. Not a problem. Well, there you go. Steve Carpenter, uh, the man behind the Red Mist car. Movie comes out this week. You saw it here first at the Anaheim Comic Con uh, at uh, Stylin Online. So, Steve, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right? Go check out the movie. Uh, throw some love to Steve's car. More to come live from Comic Con.